Hello guys, what is happening? Welcome back to a brand new video and what a great way to kick off 2018. So I was at my aunt's house today because normally every Tuesday my mom and my granny would drive up to my aunt's house to go out shopping and I went up this time since I was off school. But I was supposed to be getting a finished Christmas present uh, from my aunt um, but it isn't made yet, it's like a handmade thing. I did get a Big Bang Theory, like, big poster, you know, with the characters made out of beads. And a, um, wee, like, Lego poster thing that says, um, I love you, like, Sheldon loves this spot. I'll have pictures so you can see a bit clearer what I'm talking about. Maybe this is a different handmade thing, I don't know. But this is exciting. So, you could probably already tell by the title, but whenever I was up this Tuesday, seeing my aunt, she said, well, we were shopping at the time. We went up to her house and then we went out shopping. Uh, whenever we were out shopping, my aunt says, there's like a box thing for you. Uh, this, um, you can see if you're interested in it or not. So her next door neighbour, who I eventually saw whenever we came back from the shopping, I saw what it was and I was really excited. It wasn't a Nintendo 64 or a GameCube. She said it was like a console thing, but she didn't really know what it was or anything like that. My uncle has a PS2. I thought maybe it was a 360. Maybe it was a PS2. They're more common. But what this is, I don't own one. Maybe you do, maybe it's boring to you, but to me, this is really exciting. Um, I wasn't expecting it, which makes it even more exciting, you know what I mean? So her next door neighbour, I don't want to disclose her name, but she's a really nice elderly lady. Her son um, owned this, and her son was going to sell it. But my aunt said, why don't you give it to me, and I can give it to Robert, my, my, my nephew. And... I'm glad she I'm glad she spoke up and I'm glad she took it because I'm really excited. I've always been wanting to get retro consoles when I grew up and get more games for them and this is like an like an answering to my call if that makes any sense where I actually did get something. I looked inside here which I'm just going to show you the box. I have to be careful because the bottom of it is opened. That's the way it was came. It, it came, and I'm glad the box was here too. But an original crystal Xbox box. Trap button the side. It just um, it gives you like what's in the box, like a controller and the system and um details about it. And on the side. You can see what the... Now, this is the crystal one, I think I said that. And it just shows you the um, Xbox um, and the box itself. On the back, it gives you a list of some of the games. Maybe in the newer Xboxes. For my 360, it shows you, like... A couple games and what's included and stuff like that. That's basically what you get here. Um, you get you've got games like Halo 2, uh, G8 Empire, Forza Motorsports, um, Brothers in Arms. So for my 360, you can play some of the original Xbox games. But having the hardware itself to me is really exciting. And there's just more games if you want to take a look. And at the bottom, it just gives you like information that you need on the system itself the what it looks like so let's open it from the bottom because that's the way it was wow this is exciting i'm greeted with the system itself which wow is surprisingly heavy the box was heavy ish but not uber heavy or anything like that this is wow this is a little bit heavier than i was expecting and you've got this plastic stuff um the person my aunt uh, or my um aunt neighbor got this from does take care of his stuff i hope it works i'm sure it does um so we can look at that in in a little while 
Just set it to the side for now. I really hope the controller's in here. Hope to God it is. I'm not sure if it is or not actually. Like this booklet thing. This Xbox booklet thing. Um, from Microsoft. It tells you maybe a bit about winning games. And stuff th like that. Don't think this is in date. Because it's for the original Xbox. But I don't know. I don't think the controller's in here. Which is uh... <laughs> you know. I wasn't sure if it was or not. We've got leads. Uh, there's this. Doesn't look safe, whatever the hell that is. Okay, so there's this thing. Um, this is for the, um, two cables. Uh, there's this other pamphlet. And this. Okay, so it's missing a controller. Um, and I think this may. I think this should plug into something. This does not look safe. Okay, so this is the system itself. It's the crystal one and it looks really cool. So, Xbox, um, you got the four controller ports, to which I've not got a controller <laughs> for it. The, there's an eject button and a power button. So on the back here is where you um, plug in the power. I actually think this may not have a power brick. That is what I'm thinking. Um, because if you look at this, this might plug in directly to the console. Which, why the 360 and original Xbox didn't have that is beyond me. Is what it is. Turn this on, see if it works, and uh, hope to God can get a controller for it. And there's no games with it, that's all, it was in the box. Just turned it on, and that is what it looks like. So let's see if it works on the television. Alright, so I have the um, console in a non-permanent place, as you can see. But I cannot seem to get the TV to work, so I can hear it. If you can hear it, it goes, it's like, it's like a robotic, futuristic. But you can't see it. So I think there may be something wrong with the, um, lead. Um, but the console itself works, it just needs maybe a new lead, I guess. So... Just for shits and giggles, we're gonna take a look at this versus, versus, as in the design wise, before wrapping up this video, this. Now, the Xbox 360 um, Elite, as in the latest 360 version, the last one, is much, much smaller. Like, much smaller. Like, um, this is compact. This is a little bit thinner as well. So in terms of weight, this is pretty heavy. Yeah, the, this is definitely heavier, but this still has some weight because it's so compact in a small form factor. And this is bigger, but this is still slightly heavier. So overall, although this turns on, I need a different um, composite cable for to see it on the TV, and I need a controller. But hopefully I will get that, and then in a, in a couple of months time or whenever I'm able to get games for it, I will get games for it. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure to like, comment and subscribe if you have any recommended games or anything you want to say. 
feel free to do that in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I will see you all very soon. Peace, peace, guys. Da -da -da.